All right, you absolute bunch of legends. We're getting into a little chat about Ghostbusters Afterlife and the final trailer that's out at the moment. And I wanted to give this a few days just to watch a couple of times before I got in front of the camera and give you some thoughts on it. Now, and in all honesty, I was determined to try and avoid as many spoilers. Still am at the moment. Uh, we're going to go and see it on uh, the 18th. I believe I actually booked the tickets last night and I can't remember the date they said it was released on the 19th but uh, of the cinema close to us is showing it on the 18th I'm not going to argue with that it was a day earlier <laughs> I'm all good with that but I'm trying to avoid as much as I can and you know the trailer hasn't given that much away but uh, if you do look at it really closely there is quite a bit on there, if you look for it. Uh, the mine and the town. Shandor Mine. That's a reference to Evo Shandor from the original Ghostbusters. Gozer Worshipper. You know, built the, the, uh, the tower. Well, you know, at the end of the film. Where they had the confrontation with the Marshmallow Man and Gozer. Uh, Evo Shandor was the architect and everything that bolt that up and blah 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 you know the story um so obviously this is connected to him this mine the the terror dogs hellhounds whatever you want to call them they're back it's obvious gozer's coming back now that that, that is no secret a lot of people's been talking about it but uh you know it's I don't know how to put it on the words. Like, there's so many things that free my mind just with this trailer alone. And I think that I've really overwatched it over the last couple of days. And there's a few things that have popped into my mind that I think could be potential spoilers going ahead. But uh, take it with a grain of salt. I was just thinking about this today at work. If you don't want to know any potential spoilers, jump off this video or podcast right now because I'm going to talk out of my ass for the next couple of minutes and see where it takes us like uh i haven't seen anything no news has come out i haven't read anything on it i'm just going to what i've seen in the trailer from day one well not day one from the second trailer on like the first teaser we got was just the barn and you seen the back of the car and we had the the sound of the proton pack starting up it was just more than what a little the little 80s child within me was just more than what I was expecting us to get with that. That was all fine and well. As we went ahead, obviously, uh, brought in the kids and whatnot, showed you the, the main. And then as we got more and more information coming out, more clips coming out, you seen the, tr the ghost trap was brought onto it. And that was very highly put under the trailer. Like, I think there's a lot of stuff... That ghost trap is key to the story and here. If you remember the first Ghostbusters, this is... Uh, the keys to the kingdom are been handed over to a new generation. Now, whether they go ahead with an R film after this or not, this is the swan song for Venkman, Stance and Zedmore. Uh, I don't think they'll be back for any other movies. I think this is going to be it. They might leave us as full as a standalone, or maybe just the, the handover, and they might continue on. I'd be happy enough, from what I've seen so far. New generation coming on. These guys are old right now. Like They're, they're not young men anymore. Uh, it's in the trailer. My grandfather was a Ghostbuster. They're old guys. You know, that's, that's just plain and simple. Like, we, just, we can't keep things going. The same forever. Like, the movie industry entertainment industry at the moment is insane with people just wanting everything to stay the same forever you know as soon as a little bit of change comes everybody is upset and angry at it now you could say uh the 2016 ghostbusters change everybody was angry at that that's fair enough that was a movie that didn't work uh they try to take it in a way that and I've said it before, I'm not a fan of that movie. But I could see what they were trying to do with it. They tried it. It was a bad business move. Nothing to do with the all-female cast. I haven't got a problem with that. If they had it did that, 
and done something like what they're doing with Ghostbusters Afterlife and having a, a handoff from one generation to the other but no they didn't do that they changed out the the genders of the the main characters the four main Ghostbusters from men to women and restarted the universe complete reboot that was a bad bad business decision and if you have if you do have love for that film that's all fine and well god bless you you know that's your ghostbusters it's not my ghostbusters that there was the introduction to somebody to the ghostbusters world but it was a bad choice that was a tangent i wasn't expecting to get into but uh you know this to go back to the ghost trap and I've completely lost my train of thought, so I'm, I'm just going to try and get this ghost trap idea that literally came into my head today. And if this is in the movie, I'm a genius. <laughs> if you remember back to the original Ghostbusters, uh, the key to the, the portal being opened in the first film was the key master and the gatekeeper. What I think has happened at the start of this film from what I can make out Egon of course Harold Ramis is no longer with us God rest him but there is a shot of a guy at the beginning of that trailer and it's obviously an older Egon so you know body double maybe a little bit of CGI in the face just to you know make it look like it's Egon I don't think there will be any real close up shots I doubt there will be any speaking or words but uh what i think has happened is as i say the key master the gatekeeper are the two essential elements that have to come together to open the portal for gozer to come back but that's the same in this movie what i think is in that ghost trap and we're finally getting to the point what i think is in that ghost trap is egon found either the key master or the gatekeeper and managed to trap him but you know obviously dies before he can do anything so the best that could happen was he could hide the, the ghost trap in the hopes that it'll stay you know whether it be the key master or gatekeeper if they can't get one or the other they can't open the portal so that's his last ditch attempt to save universe and of course never his granddaughter finds the ghost trap takes it to Gruberson and they start messing about and you know accidentally let this thing out and then of course I would think if I had to guess which was which key master or gatekeeper I think it's a gatekeeper that's in the trap we see a hellhound chasing Gruberson in the trailer so I think it's after him to possess him to become the key master and you know of course if the gatekeeper's out and he gets and you know portal opens we're all in trouble but the big thing in the trailer and we got a little teaser from it and the the previous trailer was uh the shop and the phone ringing and uh the phones answered were closed Dan Aykroyd. We get a little bit more of him in this trailer and you know he goes over the there's a lot of dialogue that's reused from the first Ghostbusters movie but uh, we finally at the end of this teaser or this trailer we get to see the three Ghostbusters stand side by side and you hear the voice over from Venkman well did you miss us? Um, I reckon that line it's going to be between him and Gozer whenever they finally come face to face in the movie. Like they're, they're going to hold the Ghostbusters back to f fairly late in the movie. But uh, anything that I have heard that's gotten out about it so far, that it, this movie is 100% fan service. Like, and as I say, I'm trying to avoid as much as I can, but I do listen to a lot of podcasts and there's a few little pieces slip out from people before you get a chance to like turn it off and like I don't want to hear it fingers in the ears and whatnot but I did hear and it was actually Q from uh, Impractical Jokers on uh, Tell Him Steve Dave podcast uh, he heard the grapevine whatever it was that's 
fan service and that is a good thing that's that's what they needed to do with the 2016 Ghostbusters they needed to do more fan service they decided not to do that they paid the price it failed miserably this movie here it's going to be a good time like I am going to be in the cinema on the 18th with a giant bucket of popcorn the brother beside me he's a huge Ghostbusters fan too they got booked tickets for me and him last night he's gosh he is 10 years older than me he's 50 51 at the moment and he's as excited as a small child to see this film as well this is exactly what we needed from Ghostbusters if you're going to do an R movie this is the way to go for it uh that's fun that's going to be fun uh, I'm, I'm stupidly excited but that was the one thing like a little prediction uh, I reckon that's what happens with the Egon storyline he takes out either the key master gatekeeper and the next generation of people come up the granddaughter and whatnot accidentally releases him and uh, that starts the the dominoes falling over for Gozer to come back one more thing I'm hoping that pops up on that and uh, I think it'll be a missed opportunity if they don't do it as they need to bring back the proper Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man that has to happen you see the money puffs in the trailer uh, I, I don't see why they wouldn't bring back the big guy if they're going to have all these little miniature ones running about in the background if Gozer comes back and she is still angry at losing to the Ghostbusters in the first movie she'll probably take that same form just to annoy them and we'll see what happens but anyway let me know your thoughts in the comments below this video or the comments below the podcast let me know what you think are you as excited to see Ghostbusters Afterlife as I am and uh, if you're not well I don't really care. I'm going to be sitting with a big smile on my face that night. <laughs>